Hi, I'm Fabrizio and today we are going to see how to use Git for our projects. I'll use Git from Terminal but uh, there are some graphical programs that let you work graphically with it. But first let's understand what it is. It is used to control and save efficiently all versions of our projects. This version control system, BCS, called BCS, can be local on our computer or it can be centralized on a server. The advantage of this system is that a lot of developers can work simultaneously on different branches of the same project and if some files got edited by two people together they can save both versions of that file and merge it afterwards. The first thing to do is to install Git. You can get it for Windows, Linux or Mac. You can find links on and commands at the end of this article. I decided to install uh, Git for Windows. I take it from this from this link download and install it after installing it create a folder that I will call project and inside this uh, folder I'll uh, right click and uh, git bash here you'll get this uh, terminal on Windows that works like uh, Linux one Linux terminal and uh, the, the second thing to do is uh, to configure git so it can recognize you so we type git config minus minus global user dot name Pasta. and git config minus minus global user user email and here you put your email for example gmail gmail.com At this time you should install a graphical client, but we really don't need it because we can use the command git k installed with git itself. If you want a graphical client you can find the link in the below sections. Ok now type git init and a folder will be created inside our project folder. Now we have to add files we want to manage with git. But first let's create a file with touch file.txt and now add this file git add file.txt. Okay. If we want we can add our files with git, git add but uh, we have only one file so it's uh, not needed now that we have added a file we must tell to git to save a snapshot to our of our actual project version so type this command git commit minus m commit one my first commit every time we create uh, every time we create a new file inside our project we must add it to git with git add and we have to save all changes with git commit easy and powerful every commit we do has a key associated to it to see this key type from terminal git log minus minus one line this is our key 
our key associated to our commit. Ok, but this key will be useful to jump from a commit to another one using git checkout. For example, git checkout, git checkout, copy and paste. But in this case, we have only one commit, we are already on this commit, so we don't need to do it. We can switch through different commit, also using an alias for every commit. They are called branches. But what is a branch? A branch is a label, a variable, a pointer to a commit. They are really useful because are used to point to a commit and we can switch through different branches with the command git checkout. Master branch is the default branch, but we can create all the branches we wish. Every single dot is a commit and we have done to save, uh, to save a snapshot of our current project version. Let's create a new branch, git branch test. Let's check if a new branch has been created, git branch, as you can you see we have two branch now, but the master one is enabled. Let's switch branch using the command git check, check out test. Let's check it git branch. Now test is activated. Ok, let's modify our project and then commit the changes to see what, what is happening to our test branch. So we must do touch test2.txt git add test to txt and commit it git commit minus m and our command commit to my second commit or commit commit if we want to see graphically all our, our, our commit and branches just type on terminal git k minus minus o ok as you can you see this is our branch master this is our branch test here we have only file txt dot txt and here we have uh, file and test two dot txt test branch is pointing to our last commit let's see what happens if we return back to master branch and apply changes as can you see we have all two our files now let's do git checkout master okay git branch master is uh, enabled and uh, as you can you see we have only file.txt now now let's create a new file touch test3.txt and git add test3.txt git commit minus m commit free my commit order changes ok we have test free now added to our project to our git let's check it git k minus minus all we have two different branches now commit 1, commit 2 and commit 3 as can you see in commit 2 we have file.txt and test2.txt on our commit 3 we have we don't have test2.txt we have so we have two different versions of our project now in our example we are on master branch actually okay uh, and we cannot see test branch changes to see these changes we can change branch using git checkout test but doing this we will not have any more access to save the changes until we don't go back to master branch or we can merge changes 
In this case, let's try to merge our changes in another new commit. Let's return back to test and tell the terminal to merge master branch to test. So we use git checkout test. Okay, test now is activated. So git merge master. Okay, we save, quit. Let's check if all has been done. Done. Okay. We have merged all our changes to one commit. This is one way that develop developer can use to work simultaneously on different branches of the same project. We have all files here uh, on test now. If we want to get in Git, uh, our Git uh, project uh, on a server, the first thing to do is create a new account to GitHub. I have already an account. Okay, now click on new repository follow instruction the repository name in this case will be example it must be public create repository ok now we can copy this link and let's go back to our terminal and paste your repository address now type git remote add we must put a name to our repository I will call it github in this example and paste our link to our uh, repository online on our server Okay, now, from now you can use commands like push or fetch to download or upload commit from your repository, from your local repository uh, to your uh, server repository. Using these two commands, git push repository name and branch for example in my case github is my server repository name so I will use git push uh, github master so I'm telling git to push the branch master to my server repository github ok counting object, objects 5 done now if we go to our uh, to our repository we will found our our master branch branch and we will find two commits file and test free we don't have uh, test2.txt because on our branch master as can you see we don't have test2 we have test2 here so because we pushed only master branch we don't have a test 2 and as can you see it says we have a remote github here if you want you can get a graphically a graphical client called smart git 
this is a smart kit for Windows 7 or for Mac or for Linux that give you a git client with support for github and in the description you will find the command list I used and how to install it on Linux Mac or Windows ok this is all for now I would like to thank you for watching bye bye